Alola everyone and welcome back to another Pokedex guide episode. My name is Philly B2 and in these guides we talk about all the Pokemon that you can catch in the Alola region and their various locations so that you can fill up your Pokedex completely and do whatever you gotta do with building a competitive team or just shiny hunting in general. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So Route 14 is actually a small coastal route on the bottom of Ula Ula Island. It is well known for the black sand as you can see. It has broken roads and a path up to the Thrifty Mega Mart which is one of the trial locations. And the whole area got destroyed by Tapu Bulu years earlier so that's the lore behind it. As you can see there are underwater remnants of other buildings that can be seen while traveling across the water. Now there's two ways of catching Pokemon on this route. One is through surfing and the other is through fishing. Most of these Pokemon we have seen on previous routes, but we'll still go over them in general. So through surfing, you have a 40% chance of catching Finneon. A Tentacle at 40% chance as well of appearing. And Pelipper with a 20% chance as well as appearing. Now, if you did not catch a Wingo earlier, I suggest you catch a Pelipper now. Because Pelipper is just... oh. Oh my goodness, we're going to talk about Pelipper as we go further on in this video. We also have, through fishing, Wishy Washy with a 20% chance of showing when it's not bubbling in the fishing spots. And when it's bubbling, 30%. Same applies to Bruxious, kind of like Route 13. 1% chance when it's not bubbling, and 20% for 20% chance when you have bubbling spots as well. Magikarp, the most annoying fishing Pokemon that shows up everywhere, has a 79% chance of showing up when it is not bubbling. And when the water is bubbling, it has been reduced. Magikarp can obviously SOS call in Gyarados. And that is, of course, the only way that you can SOS Gyarados in the game. Now, while we're at it, let's go over Pelipper. Because I wanted you guys to see what awesome things you can do with Pelipper. Because I know a lot of people find Wingo pretty annoying. But Pelipper, oh man, oh man. So here we go. Here's Pelipper. Pelipper is a water flying type Pokemon, which means it's going to get stab boosts with its moves that are water or flying. Now, if we take a look at its abilities, we have Keen Eye. Opponents cannot lower their Pokemon's accuracy. This Pokemon ignores the evasion boost of the opponents. Keen Eye is a whatever ability to me. But the big one, the big one, the most important one in this game and that you can use on your journey is the ability. Ability, 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 drizzle on this Pokemon. Weather changes to heavy rain when the Pokemon enters the battle. As of X and Y, this lasts five turns. Now, this is really important from a competitive standpoint and also for a Pokemon hunting standpoint. From the Pokemon hunting standpoint, this helps because when it rains, there are certain Pokemon that show up in SOS weather-related battles. And we'll talk about that in other route videos that you can probably find later on down on the playlist, which is in the description below. So let's talk about this from the competitive standpoint now. If you have Drizzle, there's a lot that you can do. As you can see, right away, Pelipper gets access to Hurricane. Hurricane does 110 special attack damage. The accuracy is 70%, but in the rain, it is 100% contact. So with that, plus the stab, you can do massive damage alone which is Hurricane. Now moving on, we also have Roos. Roos is very good for this Pokemon as of course it restores the user's HP up to half of its max HP. So you can get back some HP using that Roos move as well. Other moves that are pretty useful for this Pokemon are going to be Scald. Scald is something I think that's uh, pretty nice as you can also apply a burn on the Pokemon that you're facing as well. And uh... What are the other ones? U-Turn. Now, U-Turn is super, super, super important uh, because, I mean, at first you think, wait, what's the point of U-Turn? You know, Pelipper's mainly a special attacker Pokemon. But guess what, guys? U-Turn is a good move to use to get it right out of battle in order to switch it back later on so you can get that rain move without letting another Electric-type Pokemon or Grass-type Pokemon take it out. So yeah, that's why U-Turn is pretty useful. And like we said before, Scald is also good because of the stab. And it allows the Pokemon to be burnt. We take a look at its stats as well. HP is 60, but that can be worked with. Attack is 50. Defense is 100. So I would suggest dumping EVs into defense and HP. Special attack is 95. It has been buffed up from 85 in previous games to 95 in this game. So Pelipper is a very good viable Pokemon to use in the game. So yeah, guys. 
I suggest on this route, you definitely get your Pelipper and grab any of these other Pokemon that you did miss on previous routes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what you think of Pelipper. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to see more videos like this. My name is Philly Beats You, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out.